Objective, write and solve matrix equations for a system of equations using a graphing calculator. So let's go back to some examples that we did without the calculator, and now we're going to do it with them. Now I've already loaded A, so if I go to second matrix and go to edit and enter, you can see I've already loaded negative 4, 2, negative 2, 1. I'm going to do second matrix, and I'm going to go to edit and go down to B and I'm going to load up these numbers. So 1 divided by 4, enter. It's going to show up as a decimal. Negative 1 divided by 2, enter. And I could just write 0.5 because I know that's 0.5 and then negative 1. Okay, so I've loaded up my matrix. Second, quit. And I'm going to do matrix A, which is 1 and then second matrix, and then I'm going to times it by 2, which is a set B matrix, and then this is the answer we got, which tells us these are not inverses. Now let's go ahead and check some others, so I'm going to write a second matrix, and I could go down here and place it in C. Oops, I have to first get to add it, and then go down to C enter and then I'll have three enter one and that looks like C and I'm going to do second matrix go over here to edit and I'll go down to D since I have enough slots I can might as well do that two by two and then we'll have one negative 1, negative 2, 3. All right, second quit. And this time I'm going to do C, which is 3, times D, which is 4, and enter. And I get the identity matrix, which means matrix C and D look like they're inverses. Let me uh, do it the opposite order, 4, second matrix, and then three, and we get the same thing. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can find a matrix. So I'm going to do second matrix. I'm going to go back to A, and I'm going to enter, and uh, it's seven, enter, negative five, enter, two, enter, negative one. Okay, and I'm going to do a second quit. I'll uh, clear all this out, and I'm going to go and get matrix A. And then the inverse um, symbols right here, right here where it says matrix, so I'm going to hit that. And now it looks like an inverse, and I press enter. That looks uh, like it has all the decimals of this answer. So I'm going to press math. I'm going to press enter, it'll change it to fractions, enter, and now this looks just like this answer over here. Now remember this, when we did it in the lesson, when we put it in, it, uh, it, it does not have a matrix because this part right here, is, the denominator will be zero, so the uh, scalar is undefined. Okay, here's another example. Let's do second matrix. We're going to go to edit, and we'll enter our brand new matrix, and this is going to be 6, enter, negative 2, enter, 7, enter, and a negative 2 again. Okay, second quit. My last command, let's see, second, enter, I don't want that one. Keep going, second, enter, and I'll get the old command, which is to find the inverse, and I'm just going to go press enter, and um, I think, if you want to change it to a fraction, but it's this one, oh, not that one, it's this one right here, A. Okay, let's go on to this one now. Uh, this is where we actually use the inverse to help us solve for X and Y, except that I don't think I'm supposed to have this going on here. So this is going to be X, Y, and then this. Okay, so what I want to do, remember, 
what we want to do is we want to set up the this matrix for the coefficients. This is the matrix for the variables. This is the uh, solution matrix. I want to multiply the inverse and what these will do right here, these two will become the identity matrix and we'll just have that. And so to get the answer, all I gotta do is multiply these two right here. All right, so let's go ahead and put in our uh, matrix A. So second matrix, go over to edit, enter, and, and that's going to be one, enter, one, and then 3.75, enter, 3.5, enter. Okay, so I've got that matrix. And then I want to do second matrix, and I want to go to the B, enter. And this is, I want uh, two rows and uh, one column. And this will be 24.2, enter, and 88.05, enter second quit so we're going to do clear second matrix i want a but i want the inverse and then i want to times it by b and b is two and then we get our answer so this should be 13.4 so i'm going to go over here this is 13.4 and this is 10.8. So this tells me x is equal to 13.4 and y is equal to 10.8. Okay, let's do one more. And again, this has already been all set up. All we gotta do is figure, put a in and put b in and times the inverse of a times b. So I'm gonna go to second matrix I'm going to go to edit in A, and I'm going to have 3, 4, 1, negative 2. And then I'm going to do second matrix, go down, and I'll go to, I'm sorry, I go up to edit, and then go down to B, and this is okay. All i got to do is change my entries, which is negative 10, and then 10. Second quit. Okay, now I want to call this command again, second entry, and it calls the command again. I have a new A, so I'll have a new A inverse, and I'll have a new B, and then so I just press enter. And what this tells me is... Um, x is going to be 2 and y is going to be negative 4. So x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 4, which is this answer.